What's going on YouTube, just joking and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building the black Toyota Supra from Fast 5. Now obviously to create this build we're going to be using the Dinka Jester Classic as you can see right now and there's not really much else I can say about the Dinka Jester Classic. We all know that it's an awesome car and we all know that it is 100% based around the Toyota Supra from the 90s. So without any further ado, let's crack on with this build with 100% body armor then we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes for the bumper front bumper we're gonna go with this carbon splitter there's loads of different options to have with this um thing of jester classic but uh this is my personal favorite i think this is the one which is more like the one from fast five because um as you go through them you've got smaller splitters there and then when you go with this one obviously you've got that big cut out then in the grill which is weird because this is a front bumper option to expect the grill to be separate maybe but then again you can see that the grill is integrated into the bumper at the same time so you can kind of understand where Rockstar were coming from with this one um, but yeah like I said man carbon splitter is going to be the best one for this build so that's the one we're going to go with next we're going to go to the rear bumper and looking through them guys there's not really much that we can go on because the one in the movie has a pretty simple bumper and the only options we get on this game are crazy rear diffusers there's not an actual bumper change it's just adding a diffuser except for the obviously the carbon rear which is unfortunate um, so we are going to have to stay stock for the rear bumper which then brings us down to the chassis now this will come down to personal preference because to be honest I'm not 100% sure whether this car in the movie has a roll cage um, because I can't really find a good enough image or footage to, to uh, clarify whether it has, actually has a roll cage or not um, so this will come down to personal preference or whether you know or not if it has one. Um, I personally don't like the roll cage look in this. I think it looks kind of strange. Um, especially with the way it, you know, it sinks into the dashboard. It's really odd why it does that. I don't like it. If there was a half cage or a dash dodger, then I think I would have gone for it. But because I personally don't like the look of this roll cage inside the car, and I'm not 100% sure whether the car from Fast Five actually had a roll cage inside, I'm just going to stay stock for the chassis. Then we're going to go to the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhausts. We are going to go with something real meaty. Maybe the twin chrome exhaust too. That looks awesome. Uh, yeah, why the hell not? We're going to go with twin chrome exhaust too. So next we do have the headlight covers. We don't need anything in here. So we're going to skip past that. Then we've got the fenders. Don't think we need anything in here either. So let's have a quick look. No, we don't. Oh, maybe actually we could have the extensions, the rear spats. Yeah, man. We're going to go with the rear spats. Then we're going to go to the hood. Now, this is where we're going to grab the iconic hood design. It is called Performance Hood on here. Look at that. You, look, you see that, and it is 100% a super hood. No doubt about that. So, we're going to grab that bad boy. Then we're going to go to the lights and purchase the Xeon headlights. Now, for the respray, we're going to go into primary and metallic. And then we want to go and grab. We're going to get black or carbon black. I think we are going to go with just black. And the same for the secondary colour guys, we're also going to go into metallic and purchase black. So now we do get an option for the roof. I don't think we need to change anything on the roof because it is just roof scoops. We don't need any of that. Then we're going to go onto the side skirts. We are going to grab this primary lip skirt. Now for the spoiler, we do need the classic look and spoiler on this bad boy. And there it is, the high level spoiler. For the suspension, we're not going to go crazy. Um, I think race suspension is a little bit too low. So we're going to go with the sport suspension setup. Transmission, we're obviously going to get the race transmission and the turbo tuning. Now, the wheels we've got at the moment are pretty good. Um, obviously, not identical to what we need, but we do need that look where there's black spokes with a chrome trim around the outside. So, when we go into wheels, we're going to start with the high end because I think the majority of those have the chrome trim around them. But I'll grab a little look and then I'll come back. So now I've had a good look through all these wheel setups. There's some really good options in there. Um, none of them are identical from what I could find. But these are the ones that I'm going to settle on. Because they're you know, they're black in the middle with the, with the um, chrome trim around the outside. Which is what we need. Yeah, I know they're split. Ideally, we wouldn't want them split. If they wasn't split rims, they'd look awesome. But because they are, they're not 100% accurate. But... 
Um, they're the best ones that I could find with the kind of design that we're, we're looking for. If any of you guys obviously have got a better set of wheels we can use for this build, make sure you hit it down in the comments below. Um, because for the life of me, I couldn't find anything better than these GT ones. So these are the ones I'm going to go with. I think they look awesome still. Not 100% accurate, but I still think they look good. So yeah, GT ones are the ones I'm going to go with. And as you can see, my wheels are already black as they are. Um, but if your wheels aren't, then you need to go into the wheel color and purchase black. And to finish off this build, guys, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So you go, my dudes, as you pull out of LS Customs, you'll see this is the Fast Fives Toyota Supra. And I think it looks awesome, man. There's no doubt about this Dinka Jester Classic and what it's supposed to be. Obviously, it's supposed to be a classic Toyota Supra. And um, yeah, these builds are pretty simple, man. Rockstar gives you pretty much everything you need to create the Fast and the Furious Supras. Um, even down to the orange one and the gold one from Too Fast, Too Furious. They give you the liveries to go with them, motherfuckers. So that's awesome. Um, and I have already created the builds for them. If you'd like to go through my channel, um, Fast and Furious builds and find those other Toyota Super builds that I've already done. Um, but yeah, man, this is the Fast and the Furious 5's Toyota Super in black. And I think it looks awesome. Um, it's pretty much got everything you need. The bumper, the hood, the spoiler. A little bit dubious about the wheels because they're not 100%. But nothing is in GTR, unfortunately, because we just have to take what we've got. And um, in my opinion, I think these are the best option for this build. Like I said, guys, if you've got any criticism, that down in the comments below is where to put it. And uh, maybe I'll look at it. And if I agree with you, maybe I'll bring out another video with your opinions. Um, but I think it looks good as it is, man. Like I said, Rockstar pretty much gives you the tools to create any super from Fast and Furious in this game, which is awesome. Um, but on that, I'm going to leave it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you smash a like and also leave your comments down below. It's much appreciated. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more GTA videos. And until next time, I'm out. Adios.